Now, I was classified to a medium security remand jail, and it was all divided racially by the prisoners themselves. Because I'm white, I came under the control of the Aryan Brotherhood prison gang. These are the guys. What they did was they came up to me right away and asked me what my charges were. They said, some charges are KOS by the gang, which means kill on sight, such as paedophile stuff. Other charges are SOS, which means smash on sight. Now, under every head of the race, a guy's called torpedoes. These are people who would go in and smash someone for the head of the race, no questions asked. Everything you take for granted about your safety in society is reversed in here. These guys are constantly looking for people to beat up because that's the, how they earn their tattoos. When you go in, the head of the race explains all the rules you must follow or else the whole gang will smash you. If someone calls you punk or hits you, you must fight that person on the spot or else the whole gang will smash you. You must take showers or else they'll smash you for having bad hygiene. You can't go making friends with the guards or else they'll smash you for snitching. You can't go sitting at the tables in the day room with the other races or else they'll smash you for that. Now the more serious the act of violence they commit, the higher up in the gang hierarchy are the tattoos that they earn. This guy on the right, on the left, sorry, has got the full Aryan Brotherhood membership tattoo. To earn that tattoo, you have to murder someone for the gang in the prison system. The guy on the right, the skinhead, he was getting escorted to medical one day, grabbed the guard's gun, shot him dead and escaped. He didn't get very far though, he was actually picked up at a local McDonald's. Smart criminal. Now it was half Mexican and Mexican-American where I was at. These are the Latino gang tattoos. Who knows what the teardrops mean? Each solid teardrop symbolises one person that he's murdered for his gang. The preferred method to kill you is with a shank. The inmates strip metal from all over the place and you, may, you hear them at night sharpening their steel. All those in the background are homemade knives that have been confiscated by the guards. Now I'm about to show you some particularly graphic images of what young people look like who've been attacked by gang members. Why on earth would I want to do that? Because you're bombarded with images in movies and music videos that glamorise the drugs, crime and gangster lifestyles but they don't show you what the, the end result is for young people. It's the young people who are walking into the gates of the prison that the older cons are checking out as potential to rape you, rob you and do a whole range of bad things. And that's pretty much the end result for young people. Before I go to these images though, I'm just going to backtrack a second. This picture at the bottom was put out by the media. It portrays the holiday camp atmosphere you often hear about in the media. Inmates are in there having a good old time playing video games and watching TV. Fresh faced youngsters going in, her nicely groomed, clothes all nice and clean. That headline isn't the reality of what it's like for young people. This is the reality of what it's like. <laughs> 